Hi, this is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and I want to talk briefly about what securitization is and introduce the subject of securitization. As the name suggests, securitization involves converting something into a security, i.e. a tradable instrument, certain terms and conditions associated with it. Um, and securitization specifically refers to taking ca future cash flows and converting these into securities. So for example, if I'm a financing company and on the asset side of my balance sheet I own a number of loans, i.e. I've made loans to other parties who are paying me interest on that, instead of holding the loans on my balance sheet, which requires me to have capital and limits to some extent the number of loans that I can make, because as we remember from the balance sheet, which always balances, um, the equity and the liabilities that I have on the right side of the balance sheet determine how much I can have on the asset side on the left side. And so the amount of cash that I have from shareholders and from debt holders effectively, uh, that amount of cash is, defines the maximum of, of the number of loans that I can make and how much money I can lend out. Um, and those loans then being on the, on the asset side of the balance sheet. So by securitizing, by owning these loans, one of the things I can do is I could choose to securitize these, securitize these loans. And what that would mean is I would take these pools of loans and transfer them into a separate vehicle and then issue securities on the back of, of those future cash flows and those loans. And investors could then buy small parcels in these individual loans and I would no longer own them on my balance sheet and would have received cash for making these loans. So effectively, instead of having a loan that, say, pays 5% interest for um, hundreds of millions of dollars across various um, borrowers, I could take this pool of $100 million of loans, transfer it into a separate vehicle, and securitize it, i.e. issue securities on the back of it, and others can then invest in those loans based on the promises or the terms and conditions that are associated with, that, with those loans and the securities that are then created. What it means for me as a financing company is that I have lower capital requirements, particularly because I don't have to um, take in capital from either equity holders, shareholders, or debt holders, or borrow to make more loans. Effectively, I, can, I sell the loans that I have and get cash proceeds and then I can make more loans um, which I can then sell on as well or I could even set, try to create loans that are securitized from the get-go. Um, there's a, there's a um, that transfers the risk of owning those loans to other entities who are specifically potentially uh, tar targeted investors in that particular type of loan. So these might be um, mortgages, these might be auto loans, they could be credit card loans depending on the type of financing company that I am and, um, and I could then sell them to investors that are looking for that specific type of loan. Um, it also means that instead of uh, someone buying as a financing company, buying the equity of the financing company or the debt of the financing company and then having exposure to those loans on the asset side they can invest in those very specific loans that are then no longer mixed with all the other assets that I have on my balance sheet. Um, and furthermore, they are not at risk if I as a financing company go bankrupt because the, uh, the counterparty to, to the transaction is effectively those loans and the credit quality of those loans and they're off my balance sheet. So, I'm, so the financing company is no longer, um, is no longer the um, provider of credit creditworthiness and no longer the counterparty. Um, for me as the financing company, obviously it moves them off my balance sheet and in the year that I move them off my balance sheet, it would enhance my earnings and that I receive the proceeds of the sale. So securitization is effectively a process, and this is a brief introduction, is effectively a process by which we take future cash flows and we create securities out of them. So instead of a bank or a financing company or a mortgage company owning the actual loans that they make, i.e. They, them receiving the proceeds from the interest and lending the money, they're effectively taking those loans that they make um, and, the, and associated with that the future cash flows that they would receive, putting them in a separate vehicle 
and then issuing securities on the back of that vehicle so that investors who buy those securities are effectively the holders of those loans or parcels of the portions or slices of those loans. So we move them off the balance sheet. With the loans then, um, someone else buys those loans in smaller pieces um, as in the form of securities and they have a direct uh, they, they basically become investors in those loans. It no longer goes through the company that originated the loans, but it goes into a special vehicle um, and they can make targeted investments in those specific loans and all of the criteria associated with the loans that have been securitized.